What's going on, my boys? YT Dan back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. Now, look, I've been going, I've been in, I've been out. I told y'all it's been a lot of crazy stuff going on. You know, I left a message on my last video. You probably didn't see it. <laughs> but forget that. This deck, this Valance deck is absolutely incredible. It's, it's, it's. It's disgusting, and you've never seen anything like this, my boy. Today, we are using Valance, combined with the power of Visa Starfrost and the Scareclaw Brigade, my boy. This combination has to be the strongest Valance deck so far. This is a go second OTK deck, and then also on the go first, you can set up Opelousa, you can set up a Pop, you can set up a take control. You can set up a crazy board. So stick with your boy for the rest of this video. And I'm going to show you how to get the power. Illuminating different dimensions and all of reality. Let it be known. The epic legend of the duelist. My boys, we are back. We are facing off against... A Sword Soul Grandmaster, Sword Swoll, Sword Swoll Grandmaster, and Baron de Vlu, and also um, the Protos. But I think he summoned it wrong or didn't declare the right type or whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, he, nothing activated. But he didn't really have anything to go on. And most people just say dark. And this deck outside of, like, you know, the one dark. You know, that, that kind of doesn't make a big deal, but, you know, it depends on what's going on. So this hand is great. What I'm uh, what I'm glad to see is that Maxi just gave me bricks, so they gave me doubles, okay? So because I got doubles, my Maxi didn't really help me out a lot. And, you know, and it also gave me another um, Scareclaw name. So how this deck works is really interesting. All you ever need is just one Scareclaw monster. And you can use this Scareclaw monster to bait Ash, Maxi, and a plethora of other responses from your opponent. Then once you get past all of their defenses, once you crack their board, once you go in, then you can unleash the power of Valance. You can utilize each field zone to create the best OTK possible. And I'm gonna show you the power right now. So first off, turn change and your boy's gonna draw the card. I draw into another maxi, great. So we're first we're gonna start out, my thought is my mind bait maxi, bait this, figure out what that is as I play. So I start out with the Valance World and we're gonna play the Valance World and he's gonna negate it. But because he negated it, I still can play another copy of this card. I can still play another copy and I can still use the effect. He negated it and destroyed it. I can still play another copy, but he does not know that. So we're gonna bait it by activating the card. We activate the field spell right now. He activates burn the floor, negates and destroys my card. Wonderful. I normal summon, he activates impermanence like a mad beast. This man doesn't know what he's doing. Because he saw this card and saw me normal summon it. He was like, gotta pop impermanence. This looks like this looks like rescue cat. So it's gotta do some impermanence. Didn't read it at all. Send him back to reading rainbow. Hook him on phonics. He's done. Imperm, gotta keep in mind, middle column is dead now. Okay, so now we're going into the Scareclaw Lightheart. Scareclaw Lightheart is gonna get negated baited okay because i didn't need lightheart at all so now we're gonna go ahead and unleash the power of valance wild he doesn't know the power of valance wild he doesn't know okay so listen we've got valance world going it's been unleashed he has a free card i gave him a plus one hey don't 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 call me a bad duelist just yet I just gave him a plus one. I'm gonna give him a minus sum, okay? So look, now that we've unleashed the Valance world, we're gonna unleash the Valance within our hand. 
The good thing about Valance, in case you didn't know my boy, these are pendulum monsters that can be played in the spell trap zone, moved from the spell zone into the monster zone. And if they're moved from the monster zone to the left or the right, keep it tight, they activate their effect. And then we're going in all night, especially with Shinona May, cause she lets us search our deck for any Valance card. Oh, and that gets broken. That gets really broken. So Shinona May, keep it in mind, all these cards are special summons, but keep it in mind, all these cards are spell cards, meaning you can be defeated in a plethora of unique and shenanigistic ways. But let's get to it, my boy. So we're gonna go ahead and continue the play and I'm gonna drop Shinona May. As you can see, less than 1% of duelists play Shinona May. That means if you play Shinona May, 100%, Huge IQ, that's you. You're the only one out here on the field. That means you get the element of surprise. Now listen, continue to play. Activate Shinoname. We move Shinoname up, activate her effect to search her deck for a spell card. Valance Awakening Solo Activation, the brand new card that you cannot miss. Okay, Solo Activation allows you to place a Valance Pendulum Monster from the deck to the pendulum zone. And then when you do that, when you do that, you can move a monster on the field if you got a, a field spell card in the field zone, boy. And it doesn't matter which one it is. It can even be your primitive planet. All right. So we're cooking right now. We're, we're absolutely cooking. He's burnt his effects on our starter engine, which isn't our main engine. If this engine is completed, I get to pop one card on the field if he had monsters in defense mode. If not, oh well, I got a plethora of beasts on board. Absolutely disgusting. So let's continue. We got the solo activation. We're gonna use the power of the Veilands World Kong Wizen to put Baron in the spell trap zone. This card is now a continuous spell, my boy. Say goodnight to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and send this card to the pendulum zone. We're gonna banish it to move, cause remember I told you I got the field spell. So we're gonna banish to move to add any monster to the hand. This card adds you two cards. This card adds two cards. Crazy. Adds another monster to hand. So now we're gonna add Valance Dominator Duke. Now this card right here is the card nobody plays, but now you're gonna play it because of the new deck and the new setup and a new way that we set up the deck. So stay in, my boy, stay in for the deck list. Make sure you stay in so I can talk to you about the deck and then we will get in there. Now listen, Valance Dominator Duke. What this card does is locks a face down he like, uh, what is his name? Uh, dang, <laughs> I, f I forgot my boy's name from Duel Links, but basically he locks down a face down card. He, he freezes it so your opponent can't activate it. And also this card, when it moves to another zone, it can take control, take control of your opponent's card, my boy. It's so good. So Valance Dominator Duke, is another setup card for us to use with our brand new boss monster, Arctos 12, Chronochasm Valance. This card is crazy, but this card right here, you need to use with any of your big Valance cards. That's when things get broken. That's when things get insane. You gotta use this card with the, with the big Valance monsters, you know, namely, you know, this guy or or this guy, you know, either you're gonna fuse in your opponent's turn or you're gonna take control of your opponent's monster. Did you get a lot of pluses so you can do a fusion or did you not do so well and you can just take control? One or the other, answer that question. But now it's our turn. So we're gonna summon, activate, roll the dice. Lux on our side, six cards. Six cards on the top of the deck. We look through six cards, we find a Valance name, add it to our hand. All right, 
Now we're gonna bring out Beyond the Pendulum. This is disgusting. All of this, all of this off two cards is crazy. Now, here is the Kindle Spirit. Here is Baden Busta. Here's the Pendulum Summon. Look at the, oh my God, the usage rate, my boy. Y'all should be clapping your hands. You should be giving yourself a standing ovation. A round of applause for you. Because if you're playing this deck, my boy, you're in the below 1%. Strongest duelist with the highest IQ of all time. The only duelist that can pilot this deck. Let's go. So now that we have burnt out all of his options, confirmed that there is no Max C, confirmed that there's no Ash, Ghost Ogre, etc. We have Pendulum summoned, and now the time has come to clap some anime cheeks, okay? Even without Max C. We still had more pluses than D. Now, from this point, we can do absolutely anything we want with a field full of monsters and a handful of cards and a bunch of effects that are live. You can go Underworld Goddess. We can go into Access Code. We can go into Appaloosa if we think we got to. We can get real scary. We gonna get Unicorn or we gonna get IP. I wanna point it out. Real quick, hold up. I ain't no simp, but. And we can still play Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. You don't know what's going on, man. 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 Going on, man. This deck is crazy. This deck is absolutely crazy. So let's continue to play. So now we're going to send this spirit back to our hand after we pop some cards. And then we're going to go ahead and hit up link three. Yeah. Nightmare unicorn. Hit him with the unicorn. Send that protos back. Put a card back. Use the power of our Valance Wild. This is where we go crazy. This is where we hit our fusions up. Now, I, might, I did that a little too fast. Should explain to you what happened. I apologize. Look at this. Valance Voltage Viscount gave us a discount on a monster summon. By moving a monster from our pendulum zone to the spell trap zone, I was able to use the power of our Valance World Shinra Bancho to move the monster from the spell trap zone into the monster zone, adding yet another tool to my arsenal. Now, because I had a high level Valance card chilling in the pendulum zone, I can quickly tribute that monster to summon Valance Genesis Grand Duke. Now, what did this card do? It prevents your opponent from using your Valance weld against you by sending the card in the spell trap zone, which was Baron de Fleur, back to the extra deck. Now, this man has no resources. This man has no responses. So the time has come to finish him. There he is. The strongest Valance monster yet. Arc 12, Chronochasm Valance. This card is incredible. What it does is switches the positions of two Valance cards. And you're gonna see something really spicy. Now we're gonna go ahead and link off our monster and bring out Access Code Talker. Now, Access Code Talker gets the boost and we advance our monster. Now, you, my duelist, my boy, I want you to understand and understand and understand, triple understand. I want you to get it that the Valance deck has a secret technique that only the Valance can do 
only the Valance. When in battle, when attacking, and you have Arcos 12 on the field, you can use his ability to do the Valand Shuffle. With the Valand Shuffle, it will create the illusion of the other monster attacking in the place of Arc 12, meaning your opponent will be confused when one monster attacks over another. But allow me to demonstrate. Observe. Valent Shovel! That, that's less than 1%. That, that's a less than 1% victory. That's the, that's the most rogue duel. That's, that's, that's got to be the most roguish duel of all time. I mean, enjoy the rest of the video. Actually, I'm going to activate this. I'm going to activate Maxi so that he activates his special summon stuff now. Because I know he's got Karthek and special summon. Okay, he's not going to do that. All right, it's fine. All right. So, so we've got our Book of Eclipse. And we got to bait him into using that. I mean, bait him into summoning his card. All right, so let's start out with normal summoning. Response. Max C, uh, you're not supposed to have that. Uh. <laughs> One good Max C deserves another. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. I hate these kind of games. I guess technically. We're evenly matched, you know? He's like, what the freak? I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. All right. Now I'm going to activate the primitive planet from my hand because I was unlucky and I drew it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, do something to it if you got it. Yes. All right, he's gonna do a special. All right, this is target exosystem monster and special summon the sea sponge from the extra deck with a different name than that monster. Using this card, transfer its materials. But if it's face down, I don't think that works. Plus, while I only have the link on the field, my monsters are not exposed. And if you change anything, that goes face down too. So what shall you do, my boy? He's like, Book of Eclipse, nani? Sleep, monsters. All right, adding to my hand. Sir. Ooh, it's about to get deadly. All right, all right, so special. Defense position. We're gonna draw a card, I think. And we can destroy a card. Oh no, we can just destroy a card. Cause I wouldn't need the other ones. So we're gonna pop this. We are absolutely cooking right now. Impermanence. Yes. Uh-oh. Actually, that's messed up. It's imperm. This is the pendulum deck. This is the imperm column in the pendulum zone. All right. So that's actually broken. If that's an imperm right there, we literally lose this match if that's an imperm as well. 
which would be ridiculous, but it could be. Um, so let's see what happens. Because now we can't activate any Valance out of this spot anymore. is so silly um <laughs> i hate it when they be having like the right thing <laughs> they're like i got the exact card <laughs> like what <laughs> all right so what right when right now what do i need i do need this i need to be able to put a card in the zone okay now we're gonna hit uh, we're only going to be able to pendulum the one. Dang. Uh, hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I really hate that he played that in perm. Uh, I guess what I got to do go beyond the pendulum, beyond the pendulum, searches, then we'll do our pendulum effects. Oh, yeah, 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 beyond the pendulum, so, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond the pendulum. Really don't like that he played that in prime. Alright. Beyond the pendulum. Let's see what if he's luckier than most. <coughs> Already out here with the top one percent play, so alright. me all right I guess I gotta take uh actually yeah I can take this no I can take this what am I doing all right so now we got a pendulum summon no matter what now activate this oh wait no I got a pendulum no I no 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 I goofed oh wait no Oh, you no no, you can still do this. So I can set that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can still do this. Okay. I'm not. Uh, yeah. I'm not tripping. I know I wasn't tripping. I have allowed the heart of the cards to guide me. And now, I'm never gonna miss. Now pendulum summon. Come on. Two. We're gonna do six. We're gonna do four. And beyond the pendulum. There you go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, she's a special summon the boy. And I'm gonna draw. And we also um, can take control. And we got a special surprise. And we got a negate. We got like so much good stuff. Pop. Bang. All right. Expertly played. Expertly played. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. I will take this. All right. We gotta finish him quick. Right, let's do this. Okay. We're gonna drop the rescue cat. We're gonna eat that back to the hand. 
Gonna activate this. We're gonna move this over one. Gonna activate the effects. Um, on this one. Sorry. I think you were negated earlier, right? <laughs> oh God. Hit access code. <laughs> yes! Let this deck cook! Let it cook! Let it go! Come on! This deck is crazy, my boy. This deck is crazy! You can't, you, oh, this deck is crazy, bro. This deck is crazy! Oh my god. All right, my boy, it's time to break down your new deck list. Now, I'm telling you right now that this deck is on the map and it's going to put in some work, my boy. If you're not going to do it, I'm going to be doing it top 1% gang. First comes the top 1% deck. Then the top 1% income. You know what I'm saying? So but look. What we doing today with this deck is something that you probably never seen before. It's absolutely busted. I borrowed a concept from my new deck that I've been using that you guys don't know about. You might get a video on that coming pretty soon as I've been getting reacclimated. I'm gonna be getting back into this, going in just completely different. As you can notice, the aesthetic is even a little different. So just take that as a sign. Everything's a little different, a little bit. Now listen, here's what's going on with this deck. The number one thing about the deck is we are a ghost second deck that breaks boards and OTKs. What is our OTK? Access code talker and 3000 more damage. We don't care how we get to access code talker, but we get to access code talker and we put 3000 more damage for game. You go 53, plus 3,000, game. Doesn't matter how you get there because with the Veylands deck, you can get there in a multitude of ways. So let's break it down, let's talk about it. The whole concept of this deck is that we are only playing cards, we're, we only plan on playing turn one, turn two, and turn three. We don't plan on living past turn three. We plan on going to the next match by turn three, you know, either I'm going to go first and win on turn three, or I'm going to go second and win on turn two. This whole deck is engineered on that premise and that premise only. So that is why certain choices were made in this deck. For example, one Valance Awakening, Valance Awakening. It's a great card. It's a one per once per turn card, but in this format, where you, you know, it's only one duel, you wanna maximize your hand. So you don't wanna get bricks. You don't want doubles, which is also why I'm only running one of the high level Valance cards, one of each name, but the low level cards I'm running three of. Why do you run three of the low levels and one of each name of the high levels? Because each low level card can be normal summoned, special summoned, or placed in the pendulum zone to do whatever else you need to do. With the um, high level cards, if you get a second name or a second copy and you've already normal summoned for the turn or you've already activated their effect, it's, uh, it's essentially a brick. So you don't wanna run multiple copies, even this one, even Mad Marquis, even though that's a really good card. You only want to run the one, which is what I found in terms of consistency. Now we're going to get to the main combo of this deck going second on your opponent. You want to open up with any scare claw monster because we're going to link one into Lightheart. Lightheart effect activates, lets you search the deck and grab the primitive planet. Primitive planet activates, lets you search the deck and add Rhino Heart. Now, this combination alone 
you might think, well, you know, that's not all that strong. Like, what is like, what's the point of doing that? Here's the point. Number one, when you utilize your normal summon, and I don't know how, if you know this, and you might know this, you might be a dual and genius, but in case you're not, you know, entertain me. The question that every deck is asking, every modern Yu-Gi-Oh deck is asking, the question is, what are you going to do with your normal summon? That's the one question that every single Yu-Gi-Oh deck that's competitive is asking. What will you do with your normal summon? Now, some people use their normal summon to um, do a one card combo. You know, they normal summon a card, the card gets another card, the other card gets another card, and then facilitates the entire deck. But that's kind of weak. And it's only weak if that's your only combo. But when you're playing this Scareclaw Valance combination, the question of what are you doing with your normal summon is I'm gonna search my deck for a field spell. That's the question. That's your answer to the question. Your opponent will answer with Ash Blossom. And you will respond by summoning Shinoname, the Valance Priestess, and continue your combo. Now, why is that good? Because when Shinoname Valance Priestess is summoned from the Pendulum Zone to the Monster Zone, that's a special summon, you can activate her effect and search the deck for any Valance spell or trap. Adding to your hand, Valance Wakening solo activation, which is why we've run one solo. Solo, solo. You activate solo activation. You're gonna place any card that you don't have in your hand, any name that you don't have active, any name that you don't have access to, Put it in the uh, pendulum zone, access it, <laughs> and continue your combo from there. Because remember, we're going second, okay? And because we are going second, our whole promise, our whole premise, our whole goal is to make sure that we're popping cards. Now, if you're summoning cards in defense position, Primitive Planet lets you pop a card once there's three monsters assembled in defense mode. This lets you pop any card. So basically, you're either gonna be able to pop on the summon of Rhino Heart, or you're gonna be able to pop off of the summon of Shinoname, okay? Now, you might be saying, oh, that's well and good, but what if my opponent just has the negates like crazy? Well, you've seen in my video, we've got this for your negates. We've got this for your 10 negate board. We've got this for your options. We've got this for your tier limit. We have this. The Book of Eclipse puts all of their monsters to sleep. Sleep. Night, night. Go to face down. All of them face down. And as you know, Link monsters can't be put face down. They don't have defense. So you can summon this card and your opponent doesn't know you have this. And that's the ultimate bait after they've played everything, after they've used everything, after their resources are exhausted, then Book of Eclipse, then Summon Scareclaw Reinhardt, then pop a card. Here comes Shinoname. Activate Valance combo. What is that? Get to your access code and add 3,000, that's all you gotta do. And that's GG. Now you've just played through and played around all of their stuff because you've Book of Eclipsed everything. Or maybe you played through all the hand traps because they open pretty weak. And they had, and you know, maybe you're playing Blackwing and they put out Super Armor Master and their hand is full of hand traps and you've been battling hand traps and they've been blowing up your guy and negating him and preventing your search and all that. Then you go into your Valance. Then you use your Valance World. And then you use the power of Valance World to push their monster 
from the monster zone into the spell trap zone. That's a unique form of removal. So right now in this deck, we can put all monsters on the field face down. We can take monsters and move them from the monster zone to the spell trap zone. We can take control of our opponent's monsters. We've got op we've got access to multiple Omni negates. And we can have access to multiple attacks and also we have underworld goddess for people who can't beat for untouchable monsters. This deck cooks. So going first, you know, all this is well and good, but what would you do? If it was me, I would save my Scareclaw combo going first if I could. But if I can't save my Scareclaw combo, what I'm probably going to do is just go into my Valance combo. And the Valance combo on turn one, depending on if you have Visa Star Frost or not, if you went into getting into the planet, because you can basically link one into the planet, search, grab Visa Star Frost, and then pop the link and then summon him. And you got a level six tuner on the board. So then you can go six with four, um, sorry, six with four, six with two, and then uh, six with six. And then you've got crazy options. So this is another form of disruption. This card optimized, uh, I think it's Ulti Bisca. What is this? Phantasmal Lord Ulti Bishkel Bishkin. This card will summon a bunch of tokens on your opponent's side of the field so they can't do nothing. And then you got this too. They can put all this stuff face down. It's crazy. So this deck has multiple options and multiple ways into your opponent's board. But then also going first, it's got multiple first turn like building potential. And honestly, as I've been playing through these duels, what I've understood is if I'm going second and I only plan on living, like if I if I plan on going second and winning or or losing, that's that's how I play. That's how I duel. Either I'm gonna win or lose on turn two. That means that I don't need to play more than one ash. Here's the theory. If I use Max C on my opponent and my opponent uses Ash to stop my Max C, I don't need Ash next turn to stop his Max C. Like I like I like I don't need that. Because at this point, if they max C. It doesn't matter unless they play Nibiru and a lot of people aren't playing that or effect Valor or something that they can play in, res in response to my board. And the bestial monsters aren't that big a deal because we don't have a lot of darks. There's a couple darks in here, but we don't have a lot of darks. So they can't really take advantage of that. They have to use their own graveyard. And sometimes they don't have that because they use their own graveyard for resources. And then also, um, if it's effect Valor, then mm, so sorry, so sad. And if you blow up all the cards and they happen to have nothing on the field, then they can use Imperm, so sorry, so sad. But that's not also that's not always the case because you know if you put Valance World on their side of the field, then they're not going to be able to respond to um, with with anything from the hand like Imperm because they'll have a card on board. So it's many different ways to approach. You gotta just uh, this this deck is a toolbox. You got to look at your opponent, understand what they're doing, and then approach them in a way that you think is the best way to like knock them out in one turn. What I also love about the deck is because we have this card, we can now summon this and the other two Valance monsters all in the same turn because the pluses are just so abundant with solo activation. You know, the whole own, the whole thing is if you can get the solo activation or you can get Shinona May to solo activation, if you get solo activation, you're, go you're going in. That's why it's kind of worth it to run to. And then you might also run Lightning Storm because I like to run this because Labyrinth and Trap Trick and all this other stuff. You just run one Lightning Storm, go in second. Just take care of whatever you got to take care of. I like to run Lightning Storm and a Feather Duster if I run two. But I'm running Book of Eclipse in, in that place. So that's why, you know, it is what it is. I run the Biru as my punishment for taking on my Maxi Challenge. And then I, you know, I already explained to you the Maxi.
Now, I didn't explain to you this last card, which is an interesting card, Rescue Cat. Now, you might think, why play Rescue Cat? Easy. Rescue Cat will, is a one card beyond the pendulum. Rescue Cat will take you into the Scareclaw combo. And also, if you want to really get spicy if you really if you really want to just you know <laughs> uh you really want to go nuts it's this one pendulum car here uh it's a beast pendulum uh the beast pendulum monster right here it's a level three uh beast pendulum you can summon it from Rescue Cat. Here's another level three beast pendulum that you can also summon uh, from Rescue Cat. This actually can destroy a card. It says, uh, let me see. Yeah, flip. You can target one set card on the field and destroy it. And <laughs> if this card is special summon, you can change it to uh, face down defense position. So this is actually, you know, I guess pretty decent. So I guess you would probably run this card uh, over uh, this. And also this is also a pendulum seven. So this is also like probably a, a nice one of like, you know, honestly with, with my whole idea of running rescue cat, the way I said, I would probably run one rescue cat and one of these because if you go rescue cat activates and then you put this on the field and then you also put out your scare claw, then you don't have to put or commit any more resources to go into beyond the pendulum. So that basically means normal summon rescue cat, activate rescue cat, you know, tribute it off and they might ash that and then that's fine. And then you continue your play. But if you normal summon rescue cat activate, you summon out a scare claw and then you summon out um, this mom, this <laughs> Mo Mon Carpet? Performer Pal Mo Mon Carpet. You summon this squirrel and you summon out the Scareclaw. That means you can link one into Lionheart and then Lionheart will go get the planet and then planet will go get this guy or this guy and then you will bring out the Rhino Heart or you will bring out the Star Frost and you will go from there. You will follow the combo line. Like both combo lines go in second go through star frost and go through lionheart it's just the path that you choose like are you going to go down the path of destruction are you going to destroy one card or are you going to go down the path of the synchro summon are you going to bring forth baron de flor are you going to bring forth bower lord savage are you going to bring forth the phantasma lord you know what i'm saying it's crazy so I hope y'all enjoyed this deck. I hope you enjoyed the content and the video. You know, like I mentioned to you guys before, and if you made it all the way to the end, I will grace you with the stuff that's been happening. You know, unfortunately, you know, your boy lost his job, lost the gig, and losing the gig really sucked. And then on top of that, we were moving. And then on top of that, there was like, seven or eight days of continuous rain and it flooded our basement and destroyed everything in the basement we lost toys for the baby we lost electronics we lost tv we lost couch we lost bed we lost everything it was like a, it was a, literally another room down there and the basement is completely totally destroyed and i have not been in a happy state to make videos i have not been in a good state to make videos i haven't felt good to make videos or content and that's why i was honestly just only doing those commentary videos because i felt that i was just doing something and i could do something that was low effort and was just okay but i, I just don't i didn't like doing that either um because i just didn't have time to do what i wanted to do and i was also feeling down in the dumps because i'm dealing with all that and it's just not good, you know? But I feel better now. Um, now that things are getting better. And uh, I should be making some more videos. But, hey, I was feeling good today. So I made a video. So I'll catch y'all in the next one, my boy. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep it dank.
Put my problems in the paper, then pass them around Loud enough to wake the neighbor, they mad at the sound Tryna dial up the deputy, mad at my brown My back at the wall, battling, straddling, blurred lines Of where the heat and the fanning begin Kinda funny what the people call a legend The government call a weapon, but really he just a man in the end He just a man in the end Now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord that I wake again